At Petoni, a shortage of reindeer has made Father Christmas take up motoring. He's taken it up where motoring started, at the beginning. Instead of a man with a red flag in front, there's a pipe band. A breakdown, but the girl in the car has heard this one before. Anyway, who'd ever think of breaking down with all these people looking on? The drum major tries a little coaxing, but the girl is sitting tight. Apparently, she's not going to walk home. For the kids at Petoni, this is Christmas. Despite transport problems, the old boys made it again. In the Wellington suburb of Kilburnie, there's a children's club called the Splendid Fellows Club. And now they're very busy, because Christmas time isn't far off. They're making toys, but not for themselves. These are gifts to the crippled children of Wellington province. Girls make picture books. They sew up teddy bears and dolls and gollywogs. For years past now, this club of children has raised money through concerts, and they've given their spare time to making all sorts of things that may bring some joy and brightness into the lives of other children not so fortunate. This is the climax of many months' work given after school hours, through winter evenings and during weekends. This year, the club has excelled itself. 230 pounds was raised, and a talkie projector is among the gifts. Christmas is here again, and once more the crippled youngsters are given a party by the club. Eagerly, they come up to receive their presents. This is one time, perhaps, when they need less help than usual. It is something they look forward to from year to year. The achievements of the Splendid Fellows Club is indeed a magnificent example of children's kindness and generosity to each other. For a crowd of 14,000 spectators at Headingley Ground Leeds, the New Zealand Army Touring Team defeated a Northern Services 15 by 14 points to 7. After the kickoff, which went into touch on the full, the game restarted with a scrum at halfway. And Edwards is coming over to put the ball in for New Zealand on this side. Now, can Haig hook the ball? He does, and watch Edwards get the ball out to Allen at first 5'8", and Allen kicks for touch as he is crowded by the services backs. And that is how the game started. The game was full of thrills, and the services 15, which contained 12 international players, some of them rugby league players, were very fleet of foot and very tricky, but they have a line out as the ball goes into touch from that, and out it comes again on this side, and now you'll see Simpson take, tear one of the men right down to the ground one of the services forward, and the services men have to relieve with a quick kick to touch. That was Ward, the international, and kicked that ball, but the services fullback, who played a grand game, now passes the ball out on this side, outside steps two men and kicks for touch. In from the line out again, Ryan holding the forwards in at the back, McPhail trying to protect Edwards, but Edwards uh, dived over himself that time without getting away with the ball. Simpson dived down on it and held the play up again to, so that his forwards could uh, recover. Now here go the services again, trying to get it out on this side, but the ball brushes off Argus into touch. The New Zealand forwards try it again. They get it to Argus, Argus again kicks it up the field, and this time he catches the full back in possession. Simpson throws it infield, but now it was a forward pass as it went to uh, Ryan of New Zealand. The services backs try then a reverse pass. It's picked up by Simpson. Simpson throws it across in field and New Zealand, and uh, that was Ryan you saw dive down on that ball five yards inside the halfway and Cook kicks the first points for New Zealand. A penalty goal for offside play. And so the game goes on. Out this side now and you see Dobson it is running up there. The fullback stops him for a moment. He beat two or three players badly then kicks back 
And here's an interesting point. You see Cook rush back with Argus. That time the winger throws it back in field. Now watch Cook flash back past the camera to get back into possession. Did it very nicely. And New Zealand uh, move again. Simpson comes down the field with the ball at his toe for New Zealand. Simpson played a grand game, catches the full back in possession. But he gets it out on this side. And it is taken down. It's right on the halfway mark at the moment. Now here is Simpson again. Throws it out on this side. Smith gets the ball and gives it to Argus. And this is where New Zealand get their first try really because Argus put his foot into touch that time but from a similar movement a few minutes later here it comes it's out to Dobson Dobson takes it and he passes it to Smith Smith gives it to Dobson watch Dobson push that winger off him if he gets to the 25 he in passes now to Dobson and watch him sweep for the line and score the first try for New Zealand Cook just missed that kick it went outside that left hand post he just hooked it a wee bit as he did with two penalties a wee bit later it was appropriate, too, that at half-time, oranges should be served by wafts, wax or wrens or somebody. Actually, they were ants. Anyhow, the boys enjoyed the breather very much. That is Edwards putting on another jerk. And so the game restarts. Very fleet of foot of these men, and you'll see two or three breaks down the centre. Ward played an outstanding game. Now, watch Allen take him. Right down to the ground he goes, very hard indeed. And again, it is relieved over here. Uh, by little Edwards, gets it back and Cook kicks hard for touch on this side, it doesn't find touch, but watch Cook come across to recover as Boggs grabs that man. Another line out which was typical. Now watch McPhail guarding Shorty Edwards. Edwards points out and says, there's a man coming around, Neil. So now watch McPhail guard him. But Edwards can't hold the ball as it comes through. And, but there it goes to Boggs. Boggs goes to end pass, but he just gets bumps, bumps into touch on there, just as it looks as if McPhail might score, but he didn't. Anyhow, here it is from the line out from that same ruck. McPhail dived off the side, then picked up a man, and Edwards gets the ball into touch for New Zealand. There's a man just handled that ball in there, but it was a bit too quick for the referee. Allen picks it up very quickly, gives it to Dobson. Dobson tries to break through. He's caught on the 10-yard mark, and watch Smith throw his man to the ground. Here it is, and it's very hard rucking. McPhail gets a hard bump there, and but he holds play up long enough to get his uh, forwards back into position. The ball goes past Dobson. He made a mistake, now he recovers. He comes across, throws it to Boggs, and Boggs kicks high for touch. And here is Smith coming up now. He gives the ball to Boggs, and so a great game ended with New Zealand Army 14 and Northern Services 7.